Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Devitron and welcome back to another UE4 tutorial or Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So, um, in this tutorial, we are, well, I am going to try and teach you um, what like a, a widget is, how to use a widget and finally how to um, use, a, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to like use a widget for the FNAF styled cameras yet but I might do that in another tutorial although I may do that in this tutorial I don't know yet but for now we're just going to try and learn what a widget is and how to use a widget so uh, let's let's make a main menu for example so let's um, open a new file new level uh, empty level there we go so and now just for now let's do file save as yeah go into maps call it um, main menu we're not going to put one or two or whatever because it's just going to be one main menu there's only one main menu so All right so now uh, let's scroll down here um, actually, hold on, scroll back up, and, um, right click on content, and then create a new folder, call it, um, call it widgets. Basically, if you don't know what a widget is, a widget is basically like a user interface, uh, for example, like, Outlast, you know when you put the camera up, and when the camera is up and you see all that stuff on the screen like battery power and stuff that's basically what that's basically what you can see on a widget that's basically what a widget is it's basically what it's uh it's like a it's really hard to explain um you can actually you can basically like interact in the world but um, it's something on your screen which can only, uh, which never ever moves when you're moving around. It's really hard to explain, but to create a widget, just right click in the content here and um, scroll down where you see user interface, and then click on widget blueprint. We're going to call this main menu. And now, as you can see. Um, this is the screen right here, and this is the 2D screen, so it will show up on your screen at all times whilst you are moving. That's basically what a widget is. Um, you have buttons here, so let's just drag out a button, let's just put it like right here or something. Uh, drag out another button, uh, drag it out, uh, drag out another button, um, drag it out, there we go. And this button right here, uh, let's just click on it, rename it to play button. And uh, click on here, call it uh, quit button. Now, click, and now this one is actually going to be called quit desktop button. Wait, no. Wait. Actually, no, no. Uh, take take out the and take out this um, button. So we have these two buttons. So this, this is quit button, and this is the play button. Now uh, drag out the text into these um, buttons here, and you can actually rename rename the te text just by clicking on the text block right here, and then renaming it over here to play, and. There we go. Now you can't really see them that well, so to uh, fix that, uh, just click on them. Yeah, click on them, and then scroll down. Uh, actually, no, you don't need to scroll down. Where it says font right here, go along until you see the 24 thing, and you can just like resize that. Let's just resize it to about 50. There we go. Yeah, 50. There we go. Yeah, 50. Now do the exact same for that one. Now you can either drag it up, or you can simply click on the number here, 
and then type in 50. And there we go, you can see it. So, um, let's just compile and save. And then, uh, let's just, let's just drag it to over to here so we don't lose it. Now, I, so let's just go play. So as you can see, there's nothing on the screen because we haven't actually, like, created it. We, I, I know that we've created it through the content, but we haven't created it using events yet. So, how to do that is, uh, got, uh, click on the blueprints here, and then click on open level blueprint. Uh, and now, t and now delete the event tick here. Now, what you want to do is uh, drag off the execution thing. I don't know, I, yeah. P basically, place a new node, and then type in create widget. There we go. And now, as you can see, it says construct none. So what you have to do is and where it says select class, so click on the drop down arrow, and then select main menu. And as you can see, it just changed from construct none to create main menu widget. Now, even though that's created it, it still won't appear. So I'll show you. It still won't appear because what you need to do now, all you have to do is just drag off this blue thing and then type in add to viewport and now voila it's on the screen so uh, you can't interact with it because what you need to do is drag off this um, place a new node and type in set input mode uh, UI only. Basically what that does is set up an input mode that allows only the UI to respond to the user input. Basically what this is is uh, if you uh, wanted uh, to if you if you let's just say for example uh, set input uh, mode game only that will make it so that um, you can like move around with the mouse and walk and stuff like that. But if you set it to the UI, that means that means that your mouse will will appear and you'll be able to interact with the user interface. So um, let let's just drag this out into a controller. There we go. And then in widget to focus, that would be the main menu widget. So you so just drag this out into there. And then let's just uh, make that clearer. So as you can see, that's dragged out into there yet. <clears throat> so let's just try this out now. So as you can see, the mouse cursor is visible. And we can highlight it. As you can see, if we click on it, it does nothing. So, um, although if we, uh, since we now can't press escape, let's just press Alt F4. That actually um, closes your game like automatically. If you hold down Alt F4 on your key keyboard, that closes the game automatically. Um, I don't know what lock mouse viewport means. Let's just try that. I don't know what that... Ah! Ah, that's actually really cool. You know what, yeah, this is the first time I actually learned something new while I was doing a tutorial. I never know. I never knew you could actually do this. This is actually pretty damn cool. I mean, your mouse can't leave the viewport, and now you can't exit the game unless you hold down Alt and then F4. Right, okay. So, now let's implement some... Or shall I say, let's add some actions so that the play and quit buttons actually work. So to do this, go back to the main menu widget right here. Now what you're going to do is um, click on the button, click on your play button. Now scroll down until you see on clicked and then click the plus button. And then 
since it says on click the play button, uh, drag that out. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to open a level. So, easily, you just type in open level. That's just it. And now, um, you, you also need to remember what your le uh, the level name that you want to open is called. So, the level name, um, main menu, open level, so tutorial underscore map. So, then you have to type in, uh, in the level name, tutorial underscore map. There we go. Um... Yeah, um, so now, let's just try this out, so let's just delete that now, uh, let's just try this out, so play, so, let's just click on it, and as you can see, um, why can't we move around, aha, aha, I understand why, so now, what you want to do, is, since we've um, set the input mode of the game to uh, the UI only, what you want to do is um, open the level of tutorial map and yes, save, yes, of course, yes. And now what you want to do is go to blueprints, open level blueprint. This is of the tutorial map, not of the main menu, of the tutorial map. So now what you will do is right click, event, begin play, and then set input mode, game only. Target, of course, controller. There we go. So let's just try this now. So let's just go back to the main menu. Yes, of course. Now let's play. Click the play button. Click the. Why isn't this working? Okay, guys. So I've seen to fix it. So right, play, and then we click on play. And now let, let's just click again. Now we're in the game. I remember that as well. I mean, let me just get rid of that now. Uh, third person. No way, it was mannequin. Uh, let me just get. Let me just get rid of this for a minute. So I've got to change it. There we go. So, um, what I did to do this. I basically, um, I had this, yeah, I had to redo this, and I had to uh, cl click compile, click save, and then um, I had to, uh, yeah, do, uh, I had to do all of that, and then I had to do set show mouse cursor, so I had to right click, and then um, I had to, act if context sensitive is ticked, then you had to untick it. And then type in set show mouse cursor and then tick it and then the target would be player controller and that's what I did and um, with the actual um, tutorial map itself I just went into the blueprints and I basically deleted everything because nothing was working. So then it made this work. That, that's, I think, all we're going to uh, do for today. Although, um, I will be doing like a FNAF styled camera soon. But I think that's going to be it for today. Um... Or should I do FNAF cameras? Um, I think no. I'll, I'll, that that would be that will be enough for today. So I uh, hope this helped you, everyone. Even though it was such a long tutorial and so very very um, 
confusing, but I hope you've learned something today, and uh, I, I remember in one of the previous episodes in this um, series that I said I was completely clueless in what I had to do in um, creating my game, like the flashlight and stuff. It, I've got it all figured out now, and um, my the, the, the game that I'm creating, I'll show you the game, so um, open project. This is probably going to be the first time I'm actually showing you something. Um, but, look, FNASR, if you don't know what that stands for, is Five Nights of Steve, he's remastered. And I guess I can show you a little bit of it, I guess. I'll show you a little bit of it. You can see my desktop, I know. But we're just going to be loading up um, Five Nights of Steve, he's remastered. So here it is, this is um, basically what I've done, and if I go into blueprints, level blueprints, you're probably going to think, holy sh, holy hell, you've actually done all of that, and yes I have, uh, it's a quite a long time for me to actually get it around my head, but yeah. I've basically done all of that, and I'll show you what all of this is, so, yeah, if you can, like, see all of that stuff, yeah, it's very, very complicated stuff, but I've, ba it's very, very confusing even towards me, but I know how to do certain stuff, so, yeah, um, I'm not gonna show you any gameplay of it, um, uh, at all, until I've, like, completed, like, most of it. Um, I, at first, I wasn't thinking about making this a game, but for now, it's going to be like a sort of a test game. It's not going to, well, to me, I think it's going to be sort of like a, um, it's going to be, to me, I thought it was just going to be like a prototype, but... For what I've done at the moment, it looks like I'm going to be making it into like an actual game, but I don't know just yet. But yeah, that's basically all that I've done in this. Um, I'm not going to show you like anything else apart from uh, first person, yes. I have been using the first person blueprint, as you can see. Uh, I know that you, that you can't see anything. But I have been using the first person blueprint, and um, that's basically all I've done in the first person blueprint, as you can see. Yeah. So that's basically it uh, of this tutorial, even though it was actually me showing you like some of the stuff as well. But yeah, I hope this helped, and I hope you have enjoyed as well. And I will uh, see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.